<laughs> What's up, Scorpio? I was laughing because, dang, I heard that song and it's so old. And I don't know why Beloved got jokes and gave me songs to sing. But um, that song, Love Don't Live Here Anymore. <laughs> like, that is so cold hearted. <laughs> Whoever is in that energy, and I don't mean to laugh at someone's pain, but it's just like, if you if you hear her voice in that song, I think it's, her name starts with the M, I think it's, don't get me to lying, but that's all I heard, love don't live here anymore. You know, when love doesn't live in a certain place anymore, that means that somebody took advantage of that love, right? If this person is singing a song and they're expressing that love don't live here anymore, it means that love was there. But somehow the love died through various trials and tribulations that the relationship went through. You know, this is the energy of someone who was tired, fed up, done, being taken for granted abused, neglected, whatever. Let's go ahead and get into your reading, Scorpio. You could have been dealing with the fire sign, but this is the person that's singing the song. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is you or this is your person's energy because this queen of wands is a very attractive, sexual being, right? Someone who attracts people without trying right someone that's a go-getter someone that's very self-sufficient in a lot of ways wow two of cups justice three of coins the eight of staves the six of cups wow wisdom You know, with this Three of Pentacles energy, Scorpio, someone destroyed this relationship. I'm going to count every Pentacle as a person because the way she looking outside, she could have caught her man or her, her his woman and some type of situation that broke her heart some type of situation that left her bruised or broken or you know like just in a place of despair she looks so sad like she lost her best friend right like life is over like what do i have to live for like i just I'm so tired. I don't want to do this no more. This could have been a person. You know how certain people, after your spouse cheat on you, you'll sit there and you'll, um, you'll like go through their phone or you'll have to have their passcode, key code, key to the car. You have to know where they going, where they coming back, who they was with. You know, all of that is so much spent energy that could be spent on something more positive, right? Like cooking or preparing a meal or putting flowers all over the bed or ma making, you know, bath water with, with flowers in the bathtub and all that type of stuff, right? This person was that type of romantic, right? Always, uh... Thinking about the other person, how to make them happy, you know, doing spontaneous things that were unexpected, you know, um, being lively, being someone who loved hard and loved deeply, right? But this person is saying love don't live here anymore. And it's not because they want to. It's because they have to. This is someone that overcame a lot of obstacles to get to the place where they are now. 
and they had to make this choice not because it was an easy choice just because they got so tired of being taken for granted right see I see this person talked and talked and talked and asked and like really try to communicate effectively with their partner, right? Um, try to maybe take take new ventures, new ways of doing things, you know, try different ways of communication, different ways of showing their love. This was a person that put a lot of energy, effort, and time into this relationship. This wasn't like a lazy person in this relationship. This was someone who loved with their whole heart a person. Right. And no matter how much they talked or pleaded or whatever, you know, it's like one of those moments. It's one of those moments like this when you're talking to a person and you're, you know, baby, I love you so much, you know, but you just keep hurting me. You know, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I don't trust your actions. You know, I just, I don't want to be this person. The person I've become, I don't know this person. I wasn't her. You know, I was a very confident person, but now I just have these trust issues and I want to work on it. I want to try to make it better. I want to be able to trust you. I want to be able to let you just live your life, you know, but Baby, you got to show me that you're trying to, like, that, you know, you're not cheating on me anymore. That, you know, you still love me the way I love you. And the person's like, I hear you. You know, like, like you don't get that same heartfelt um, reciprocation in the conversation, you know. And after so much talking, so much pleading, someone's just, I don't know, they're tired, right this two of cups energy this is this was the love that this person had for their person like they only had eyes for them right this person had their mind their body their soul right love true love like i love you and when that, you know, so many people use love. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you the one thing that really irritates me. A person be like, but I love them. But they out on a date the next week with James, Joe, and John. You know? Or Julie, Jennifer, and Jane. <laughs> you know, love don't work like that. When you really love someone, you don't want nobody else touching you, rubbing you, kissing you, holding you. It don't even feel right. So how could you be somewhere having sex with someone else, right? That goes for men and women. When you say you love somebody, how could you cheat? You don't really love them. It's, it's something different, a different type of emotion that you're experiencing because it's not love. That's It's not how love works, right? And someone in their selfishness that don't know what true love is or what what love means sent, sent the person that really loved them through this. And now this person is saying, love don't live here anymore. I think, I think, oh, wow. You know what's crazy? Because I was trying to listen to the message, the, the, the words of that song when I have gotten, um, when I got, uh, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. So this person feels like love don't live here anymore. And this person is feeling like ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And it's like, wait, hold on. So let me get this straight. It takes for you to lose a person before you realize you love them. For you realize how much you really care for them and how you treated them. When someone sat there and pleaded and pleaded and pleaded. But now ain't no sunshine, huh? Because whoever's the person that said love don't live here anymore. It's putting that love back inside of themselves and someone so wants to be back in their life. 
But I feel like this person is not allowing that. They're respecting themselves. They know they deserve better. You know, you have to admire the strength of a person when they love somebody and they walk away from them. One of the hardest things in life to do is to walk away from somebody you love. I mean, love. I ain't talking about this bullshit people be out here playing. But somebody you truly love. And you know that they're not going to change. So the best thing for you to do is walk away from them. And I feel like this is what this person decided to do. Right? It's not, it's not like this person don't think about this relationship. Don't think about being back with this person or want to be back with this person. But they just know it's unhealthy. What they, what keeps them going is the memories that they have of the good times. And when life was good and when it was beautiful and when they treated them the way they deserve to be treated. Right? Because I feel bad for somebody. Because the way this person who said, ain't no love don't live here anymore. They're not talking anymore. They've said all they've had to say. Now there's someone else that they're ready to talk. And I take it, Scorpio, your person is ready to talk. But Crosswatcher, you gotta know, Scorpio has said all they have to say about this situation. You never want to allow a person to get to this point when they were at this point. This is the past. This is the near future. All you can ask yourself is, what actions did I take that now the relationship is like that? They don't even want to talk to me no more. They don't. I thought I thought they loved me. Now now it's reverse psychology time. Well, if you love me, you would. Hmm. Love is a peculiar thing. That's why God say, "Do not awaken love to a soul pleases." Because some people ain't ready for it. They just want what they think is love, which is lust, passion, desire, those type of things. What else does Scorpio need to know? <laughs> Periods of frustration, lessons to be learned. So on your end, Scorpio, you went through your period of frustration and lessons to be learned. It's this person's turn. You know what's interesting? And I just seen it. You know, for the person that's saying ain't no sunshine when she's gone. You see that Ace of Cups that spilt over? Hold on. See that Ace of Cups that spilt over? See that one standing upright? You know your ass wasn't right in this situation. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Strong emotions, passion, love or hate. Unsuccessful outcomes to a problem. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Younger man. Great good fortune, opportunity or windfall, a distant friend is thinking about you. Financial gain, usually from something you did in the past. You know, to whoever this young man is, younger woman, take it out of flies. This is your karma. To have love, lost love. Because it says you will reap what you have sown. If you didn't sow, sow love into the situation, how could you reap love? But I see that you're thinking about Scorpio. Because now you know what Scorpio really was. Great fortune. Good and great fortune is what it says. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem, Scorpio. But that's okay, because opportunities and windfalls and love are coming your way. Success is a short with good plans and hard work and financial gain, usually from something you did in the past. 
You have a choice here, Scorpio. You could go back and try to work on this if you so choose. It's your choice. But I see there's something better coming for you. Something that you deserve. Something that's not here yet. It's going to require you to have faith. It's going to require that you take time out to heal. And then proceed forward. Mm. Let's go ahead and get a message for Scorpio. Close out this reading, please. This, um, this younger man, younger woman is bitter about losing this connection. <laughs> what did I say? Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Scorpio, you got something great that's coming towards you. This card also speaks in reference to what you discovered from learning this lesson and what who you are now as a person, right? And the gifts that you uncovered, right? All of that stuff wasn't in vain. Nothing you did, the way you loved, it wasn't in vain. It was all meant for your journey that you're on. Something is, is awaiting you one way or another. That's why I say you can go back because I know you love this person, right? But this is a dog. Um, I know it just says dog far away thinking of you, but this person is a dog. You ain't no love. Because if you was sexing and fucking and sucking other people, hugging, entertaining, kissing. You didn't love Scorpio, younger person. Okay, Scorpio. So that's the message I have for you, my loves. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely check out blackmadonnahp.com. Like I said, has some beautiful clothing on it. So definitely check it out. And other than that, love, peace, and soul. Take care, Scorpio.